I'm going to show you how to back up a Windows Server DNS zone. So to start, I'm logged into my DNS server, or in Server Manager, I'll come to Tools, and then DNS. Within the DNS Manager, we can come to our Forward Lookup Zones, and then select our DNS zone that we want to back up. Once we've confirmed the name for the DNS zone, what we'll have to do is open up a command prompt, and run it as administrator. And then within the command prompt, we can run the following command, which will back up our DNS zone. So we'll do DNS CMD, and then forward slash zone export, and the name of the DNS zone that we want to export. So in this case, I want to export the core.dynamoran.com zone. So I'll do core.dynamoran.com. And then we need to give our export a name. So we'll give it the same name. And then we'll just do dot backup at the end. And then we can change that later. So if we run this command, we can see that it's exported the DNS zone. And it's saved it to C Windows System32 DNS. And then it's given the name of the backup that we specified. So if we open up File Explorer and then come to C, Windows, System32, and then DNS, we can see in here we've got our backup file that we have just created. If we open it with a notepad, we can see that we've got our DNS file, and then we can use this to import to restore our DNS. So if I come back to my DNS manager, I will then delete this zone. So that zone's gone, and now we can do the import. So to do the DNS import, we can right click our forward lookup zones, we can go to new zone, press next through the wizard, we can create a primary zone. Temporarily, we'll have to untick the store the zone in Active Directory, because if we select to store in Active Directory, it won't give us the option to do the restore. So we will have to restore it so it's not stored in Active Directory. And then once it's been restored, we can enable the Active Directory synchronization. So if unticked the store the zone in Active Directory, and then press next, we'll give it a name. So we'll give it the same name that it had, core.dynamoran.com. And then here, we've got the option to create a new file with the file name. However, what we want to do is use the existing file. So this is our backup file. So we can see that it's going to use a file that's in the system root, which is C Windows, System32, and then DNS. And then it's automatically populated the name based on the DNS zone that we've created. And it's a .dns file. So if we come back to our file explorer, where we've got core.dynamoran.com.backup, all we need to do is just right click and then rename and then change it from .backup to .dns. That will then set it to a DNS file. It will match our use the existing file. And then we can press next. So instead of creating a new file name, it's just going to load this DNS file. We can then press next. For the time being, we won't allow dynamic updates. However, we'll change that once we've finished the import. We can then press next. And then finish. And then we can see we've got our DNS zone has been restored and it's got the entries that we previously had. Now before we've finished, if we right click the zone and come to properties, what we want to do is under the type, it's currently a primary zone, we want to press change and then store the zone in Active Directory. It'll then become an Active Directory integrated zone, so we can press yes and then apply. And then the last thing we want to do is enable the dynamic updates and then set it to secure only. We can then apply and then OK. So now our DNS zone has been restored, we've resynchronized it with Active Directory, and we've enabled secure updating. If you want, you can go through and do any of the other settings. So you can do the aging and scavenging. You can go through and set any of the other settings. However, I'm just going to leave it as default. If you want to do a bit of a cleanup, you can remove this file, because it will no longer be used. Because now we've synchronized it with Active Directory, it's no longer going to be writing to this file. However, I'm just going to leave that there. So that's how you can back up and restore a forward lookup zone on a Windows DNS server.